check, check, check. We good. Check, check, check. We good. All right. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you in advance for staying around. I'm Courtney, better known as Kurt Cobain. I'm Alex Black. And this is the Cool and Real Life podcast where passions and purpose align. We did it, big dog. We did it. Amen. <laughs> Cheers. Word. It's a celebration. So, yo, y'all don't know me yet. Maybe some of y'all do. I don't drink that much, but we've worked really hard. Extremely hard. Extremely hard. Definitely a labor of love. Um, getting this project out um, to the world. And time is now. Yeah, man. So let's first go into, um, you know, who we are, what Cool and Real Life is, what it means to us individually, how it was birthed, and um, what our plans for the future are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit um, about myself. Um, I'm just a person who just loves visuals. Um, right. I love storytelling, um, you know, and creating things in that field. And... That's about it. I, I do a couple things out here, you know, a couple short films, you know, okay, a couple shows, slight flex, a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, slight flex. I'm just here with my best friend. Okay, yeah, That's man. Um, as for me, um, it's kind of this is kind of weird for me. I'm not even gonna hold you. <laughs> it's kind of weird for me because I I spend so much time behind the scenes. Um, I'm the type of person I don't necessarily need any accolades I don't need um to be known for what I'm interested in so I guess you can say that I'm just a fan of anything that's aesthetically pleasing and you know I dip and dab in some of the aesthetics so um I also work in healthcare if you want to like if you want to talk yeah. about you work nine to five so. but nine to five <laughs> yeah <laughs> but outside of that you know um you know I I love design. I love photography. Um, trying to get my feet wet a little bit on videography. Hopefully, I can learn from you, big dog. What you, no. big dog in that sense? You know what? Like I big think dog. you 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 really not give yourself enough credit. I just want y'all to know all of the cool looking stuff that we will be presenting has come out of the brain of Kurt Cobain. That's a bar. I'm a rapper. That was that was a bar. Yeah, I just no seriously like all of like the social media, how it's presented, you right. know, how we just are showing things to the world. The world, you've thought of everything. Like my brain really doesn't think like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just grateful that you have that eye, you have that talent. Like you'll you'll have an idea. You're like, yo, we need to save stuff for the carousel. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right, dog. Whatever, all right, whatever. whatever you talk about. You need to be putting stuff in yours. <laughs> so it's just not just me. And I'm like, all right, that ain't really my steez, yo. <laughs> and then you'll come back and you'll show me, like, all right, this is how it looks. Like, what do you think? Yeah. And there's just all kinds of references that we all know and love. You just, your mind is so meticulous, like, how it'll be laid out, how we present it. It's just everything is going to look good, so... Don't give me no credit for none of that. All of that goes to Courtney. Man, I think that, I think that that like comes from my childhood though. Mm -hmm. um, I was always brought up on, you know, how you present yourself to the world matters. Yeah. And I think that even though I'm mainly behind the scenes, mm -hmm. I think that now that I'm a little bit in front of it how I present myself to the world matters. But yeah. this is a this is like an everyday thing. So mm -hmm. people who know me, they know like you come into my space is really my space. Yeah. It's not it's not for an Instagram prop. It's it's really how I live. Right. So True. I think that's just like I'm just honestly getting this inner child off. Mm. You know what I mean? Like my inner child is so happy right now. Yeah. That I guess I guess you can say that this is how I envision my life. Mm. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of it's kind of crazy to say that though because yeah. we live life just doing the day to day. Mm -hmm. But if I had to stop and reflect, I'm extremely blessed. Definitely. You know I mean? So definitely. Yeah, I promise the aesthetics are not just for social media. Right? Now you cool in real <laughs> life. Like <laughs> this is what you really you know what do. I mean? um, yeah. So, yeah, I guess you can say I'm just a person who loves aesthetics, love design. I love photography. I love all types of art forms. Mm -hmm. I love music. 
sneakers, culture, yeah. everything. All of the cool things, like everything. We really do love it. We really are into it. Nothing Word. is, you know, we're doing because it's on trend. Where you know, if we on trend, we on trend on accident. Like, you That's know what I mean? <laughs> this That's is just what we're honestly into. Um, and this took a lot of courage. Like both of us, just aren't fans of being in front of the lens at all. At all. Um, so to do something that makes us this uncomfortable but pressing through and doing it anyway, that's courage. <laughs> it is. You know what I mean? I think it's beyond courage, though. Yeah. I think it's calling. Mm. It was it was kind of like one of those things where, all right, so that kind of goes into how this came about. Right. I don't know if I should slow down. No, go ahead. We, we that, That's a perfect segue. Yeah, but I think this is calling because um, I did a podcast before. So did you. Mm-hmm. Um, we've we've delved in this terrain before, mm-hmm. um, and I never thought that I would be here again. I'll be honest. Right. Um, but the way that everything just organically fell into place, the the level of alignment. Yeah. I've never had that level of alignment in my entire life. Mm. And when I mean that, like at that time, I was literally praying. To make sure that, like, I was telling God, like, align my passions and my purpose. Wow. Align them. And then you call. And then here I come. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy is that I didn't even call you to talk about podcasting at all. At all. I just knew that you were a talented individual and you had gifts that you needed to show the world. Where? I was calling on some friend stuff, like... Hey, what's your ideas? Yeah. What are your ideas? Like, what do you want to present? How can I help? You know, just to encourage you and help you talk it out. And I don't know, like, what happened? We're on the phone and we're talking about, you know, the podcast and the stuff. And I'm, I, I remember actively feeling like I'm listening to you, but on the other side, I'm like, are you really about to do this? Like, are you really about to ask her this? Mm. Like, is this really about to happen? Are you sure? Like, I'm checking wow. in with myself as I'm about to say, would you ever do it again? Right. And I started asking you like little questions, like <laughs> you know what I mean, just Dropping like little, little heat bread checks. Crumbs. Thought you <laughs> and was you're slick. Like, well, what's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, why don't we do one? And I yeah. remember like you paused and you was like, for real? Yeah. Why don't we do one? Like I feel like the time yeah. is now. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. And I think it, it's crazy because I think it was on par with what I was feeling at the time, because. The different projects, the the different projects that you you've delved in, mm-hmm. I think they fell out of alignment yeah. in your life at at that point. Definitely, and you were also in search of alignment. Mm-hmm. So, it's kind of like God answered our call, Did. and I think it's a blessing that you can have your call answered with your best friend, mm. and it be on the same timeline. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, it definitely is different because, um, yeah. you know, both of us, we went down this path just separately and learned a lot. Like, yeah. and we were able to take what we've learned from, you know, those respective brands and then just turn it up a notch with this one. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so that happened. Um, so go ahead and break down from your side uh, what cool in real life means, how that started. So Cool in Real Life started from, uh, it kind of was like a catchphrase that me and my good homie Brandon used to say to each other. It kind of was like a a way to say I love you. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, But we also gave love to each other as well. But I think we went a bit further by saying like why, the why, you know what I mean? Um, So yeah, Cool in Real Life for anyone that doesn't know, Brandon is the friend that I did my previous podcast with. And, you know, unfortunately, he transitioned in 2020. And it was just something that we always said to each other because we really cool in real life. It's like we we see people just like everybody else see people. Yeah. Like, we, we scroll, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> we be on social media with it, you know. But it's different when you really are naturally into these things and like I said you don't need the accolades Mm -hmm. you don't need the recognition Mm -hmm. like you really rock with it and you've been rocking with it even when it wasn't cool right and 
also, I think the two of us, we stood on morals and mm. scruples and standards. Mm. And it's like, yeah, we really are cool. And then outside of that, it was expanded to all of my friends because mm. I realized that that was a common thing. Yeah. That was like, wow, I don't have many friends, but the friends that I do hold near and dear are indeed cool in real life. Mm-hmm. So it kind of started as that. And then we had that conversation on the phone. Yeah. It was literally about me trying to refine myself. Mm-hmm. You were like, man, what you doing? What you doing with your talents? <laughs> Come on. You want to do a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> you down? You down to do a podcast, dog? I was like, what? <laughs> but it was a way of you being a friend. Yeah. Like checks and balances. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, what can I do to mm-hmm. help you jumpstart back on your creative journey? Mm-hmm. And um, we were going through the motions like, and I, if I had to do a podcast, I would do it with, with my homie. Yeah. What we what would we call it? Man, cool in real life. That's it. Cool in real life. Yeah. Um, I just I remember having conversations with you because I really was trying to just get you open to the idea of presenting yourself more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I just feel like even how you have your timeline on social media. I just feel like it's just clean. You mm. know what I mean? It's just aesthetically pleasing. And I just, I feel like people needed to see it. So I remember okay. having conversations about the word influencer even before, Yeah, you know what I mean? This yeah. was even on the radar. And she was like, I don't like that word. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like what, is, what it's turned into. Right. I'll say that. Understood. And then I was like, we got to reclaim it though. Like that yeah. is our word that we need to take back because... Our culture is just at the forefront of everything. Right. You know what I mean? And we are not at the helms of it. At all. Me and you, people who look like us, people who are in the culture, we don't control nothing. And I think that's that's just crazy to me. Um, Yeah. And so I was like, it's going to take real people um, who are really into it just naturally, Mm -hmm. getting into these fields and taking that power back. Yeah. If we don't want this brand deal, if it doesn't align with, you know, what we want how we want to present ourselves we don't have to take it right real people have to get back into it to to be able to tell these companies no we will turn your dollar down to you know remain steadfast in what we believe in and how we want to show up um i have really been (laughs) just talking to you about that word and then um you know had the idea to do to do the podcast and call it cool in real life. And I, I remember i just kept saying i was like i really like that name like that ever since you told me that that conversation about uh, what you and Brandon had about just being cool in real life, it's, it never left me. I was wow. like, yo, that's so true. Like, yeah. we really are cool in real life. And you was like, why don't we call it that? Yeah. I was like, that's it. That's it. Here but then are. I was like, well, let's go a step further. Mm. Because when you brought the podcast idea to me, I don't want to say I was turned off by it. Yeah. But I know that the space is saturated. I just think that um, the digital space in and of itself is saturated, mm-hmm. right? Like everyone has something to say and there's nothing wrong with that. But I said, if we do this, then it has to be more than that. Right. We have to be bringing something to the table that is of, of substance. Mm-hmm. And um, if it's not in alignment with who we are as people, right? then just like those brand deals and just like, you know, reclaiming influence, uh, influencer, mm-hmm. we have to approach this space the same way. Right. And then I said, well, let's take it a step further than that. Because you too were saying that, you know, you wanted to delve into the arts a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Because like, don't let her, don't let her fool y'all. <laughs> Alex here is, is a phenomenal person. Um, Alex has been a part of some amazing, amazing projects. Mm. I think that you have amazing ideas. You've even given people amazing ideas for free. You've done a lot of amazing things for free. Mm. And you've given it to the world. Yeah, You know what I mean? So I think that we both fell into a space of not creating. Mm -hmm. And it was like, well, we could really help each other. Mm -hmm. We can can reclaim that part of ourselves together Mm -hmm. and push each other. Yeah. So I said, man, it should be more than a podcast. Yeah. So cool in real life at this point, it's not just a catchphrase anymore that you're saying to your homie. It's a production company. It's a production company. It turned into ownership. Mm-hmm. I've never owned anything. Right. 
we are business owners like business this is just owners not a, uh, <laughs> this is just not a podcast this is literally a brand like we are business owners yeah we own it <laughs> I, I low-key feel like um not even low-key I high-key feel like outside of God and my ancestors I feel like Brandon is really like pushing this, John. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a tear up. Uh oh. <laughs> because it's like the things that he and I used to talk about and the plans that we had. I think the untimeliness of his transition mm-hmm. kind of made me angry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. But we had a lot of we had a lot of dope things lined up. Mm-hmm. And I think at that point, before the pandemic, I was so sure of myself. Yeah. I was so sure of what life was for me. And um, when that happened, I, I really, you know, fragments of myself right. kind of dispersed into the world. Yeah. And I and I said, man, I, I don't want to give myself to the world anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'm cool with just, like knowing cool people yeah. and just doing my own thing. But mm. um, the way that this project has fell into place, I mean, everything. Mm-hmm. Like, every, if you could think of it, there were no real roadblocks. Like, the the little hurdles that may have felt like hurdles was just, like, realignment or repositioning. Right. And, like, we moved with it with grace mm-hmm. every step of the way, dog. <laughs> like, I love you for that because we we both moved with grace. Yeah. And we both had moments where it's just like we had to we had to really check in with each other, like yo, you know. I, and I know I just you know thank you for giving me the grace because you know November December are the hard months um, for me. And yeah. with us starting this in October, me slipping into you know that that dark period, and I was like, please just give me time, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know it looked it it felt like you know everything was just all on your shoulders, and I I was really just wanting that time so when this time comes around next year i'm not in that place no more right you know what i mean i wanted to be able to show up to this project to this brand to this company as my full self yeah so i was taking those last two months to feel like that and that'd be the last time i feel like that you know what i mean it's about growth every year not saying that i'm not going to be hurt I'm just not going to be as hurt. I Every year that. I want to see progress. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so thank you for <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> allowing me that space to, you know, stay in my little bubble and pop out when I could. When, I could. when January hit, you know, I was yeah. able to, to pick up and, you know, get things rolling um, in a more meaningful way. So, yes, thank you for that. Yeah, man. <laughs> we handled it with grace. We handled it with true valor. Mm. We handled it as friends. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of love lies in the difficulties. Yeah. You see where love really stands. In the difficult in, moments. In the difficult moments, for sure. for sure. And But I mean, I promise you, like, I prayed for this. Mm. Before I even knew that this would be how the blessing would unfold. Yeah. <clears throat> I prayed for this. So when it was time to go, you know. You didn't say no. I didn't say no. Rapper. Yeah. Even when it was difficult, like you brought the homie up. <laughs> yo, the homie up. Yo, peeps. <laughs> Look, I don't let nobody in my crib. Mm-hmm. But when we started this brand, um, the homie Alex is really, really close with this phenomenal person by the name of Knox. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like, yo, dog. <laughs> we gotta get him up here. Like, him. we need to Y'all all gotta meet. meet. <laughs> And that weekend was actually dope because yeah. Yusef Days was in town. Right. Knox really only listens to R&B. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he like R&B he for real. But we, but we put him up on game and yeah. he didn't say no. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, when I say that, everything fell into place. And the way that I, I had so much apprehension. The first the first thing was a yes. Yeah. And then, it and then no. all <laughs> the things, like all the weight of the world, like all the yeah. doubts, all the anxiety mm-hmm. came in. And I was like, nah. Yeah. I don't know him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then it, it was another prayer. And God was like, yo, you pray for this. Mm-hmm. Let him in. Yeah. Let him, let him come to your house. Show him to a good time. Right. And that's what I did. Yeah. And I, when I tell you that everything like took off. In such a meaningful way. Yeah. 
And we've been sitting on this since October. October. And only a few people knew about it. Mm -hmm. And that has been the hardest thing yeah. to contain, like contain greatness. Like we really sitting on greatness. But yeah, I know that's the long, long answer to such a basic question. But right. yeah. So we're going to move on into um, why we're doing a podcast. Um, or did we touch on that, you feel like? We didn't really necessarily touch on the why of a podcast. Mm -hmm. Why for you? Um, I just really thought that this was a great way to just extend our conversations creatively, like as friends. I just think, you know, I'm not a phone person. Facts. You know, anyway. So when we get on the phone, we on that joint for two, three hours. Facts. <laughs> Talking about everything. And if I was going to, um, you know, present myself in that way, I wanted it to be surrounded um, or based around, like, our conversation as friends and what we talk about, which is sneakers, gaming, music, anything that's moving us, like, at the time. And then it's jokes. And then it's laughs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and then just pushing myself because I know that this takes vulnerability. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, I was ready to share myself in this way, but I, if I was going to do it, I wanted to do it with you. More, you know what I mean? I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. That makes me happy to hear that. Mm. Um, I think for me, the podcast, why, the why behind it would be to document that I'm here. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's real. It's like life is fleeting. Mm. You know, life as we know it anyway mm -hmm. is fleeting. And for all of the creatives that find themselves behind the lens, you know, you see, like, great photographers, the Gordons, the this, the that, you know. You try to find photos of them. Yeah. It's not many. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, not, it's not many. Mm -hmm. But... We too have something to say. Yeah. We too should be documented. Right. I want my loved ones to be able to look at this and say, Courtney was here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I want the world to be able to say Courtney was here. Right. Maybe somewhere, some person somewhere in some pocket on this planet mm -hmm. could like really latch on to us right. and take take hold of what we're talking about. And I think that our, our conversations as, as friends we have some really good conversations. You really do. <laughs> and, like, honestly, I think that was, like, what we were talking about. If if the world could be, like, a fly on the wall for our conversations, I think people can take a lot away from it, even if it's just to have a good time right. and laugh. You know what I mean? Um, we're going to get these jokes off. We're going to get these jokes off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, why not? Right. Why not? And then just the idea that we had to um, – do a podcast in a world that is saturated with podcasts. Well, what were we going to do to make ourselves stand out? Mm. And then all that we talked about, about, you know, making a cinematic. You yeah, know, man. It, putting that element into it. Like, putting all of our creative skills into this. Into this. Cool. I gonna say yeah it, it's kind of like sharpening our skill sets mm -hmm. this project this is like a project to the production company this is project number one and it's like what better way to take our talents and our gifts yeah 
than to apply it to ourselves first. Mm -hmm. Give it to the world, free of charge. Yeah. But at the same time, we're really like sharpening still. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So why not? Yeah. Um, so what can people expect? And we did kind of touch on this, um, you know, earlier, but you know, what you can expect from us is just two friends talking about our interests. Yeah. We really want to steer away from talking about um, pop culture. We're, we're going to talk about some pop culture things. We're not going to talk about, like, what's current, really, like, in the world. Like, whatever you find in on social media or on the news outlets, don't come looking to us for our opinion Listen, on it. Enough, it's enough It's enough of y'all talking about Diddy that. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's enough of that. It's enough of that. You know what I mean? And it, it's no shade to that. Yeah. You know, but... That's not in alignment with who I am on yeah. a on a everyday anyway. It's definitely not why we here. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. not that I could care less, but there's a lot of suffering in the world. There's yeah. a lot of people who are are in search of themselves. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people that are in search of God. Yeah. In search of a link between themselves and their ancestry, yeah. spirituality, all of that, man. Like, it's just too much. Living out here, man, mm -hmm. and to be talking about pop culture. It's Facts. just too much. I'm sorry. I can't. Facts. I can't. I don't have it in me. And if it's, if we're staying true to, um, you know, y'all really just getting a, getting a peek into our phone conversations, it's what we going through. Yeah. The good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I mean? And yeah. how we help each other through those dark times. It's not all hard stars, whole shoes, clovers, and balloons. No. Nope. We talk about some heavy things. You know, we pull each other through some heavy things. Yeah. Um, and that's what we'll be talking about. Another, you know, aspect of what we'll be talking about on this podcast. So, and hopefully, yeah. prayerfully, someone who's going through the same thing can get something from it. Yeah. You know, um, that's really what we want to do as well, just to create community. Exactly. With like-minded folks. Um, you know, and people found can find like a safe space, you know, with us. Yeah. With this project. Yeah. Beautifully said. Yeah. Um how often? Once a month. <laughs> Once a month. <laughs> Look. We coming through we coming through like the government checks, man. Once a <laughs> month. Um honestly I, this it, it ties into the oversaturation. Yeah. You know, and it also ties into finding oneself to find oneself is to sit with oneself mm -hmm. you can't give too much of yourself to the world you have to be able to sit and live mm -hmm. and it's like the way that the world is it's so fast paced we consume and consume and consume and consume but right. we really don't hold on to right. what we're ingesting right i want people to really ingest what we're talking about yeah. i really want people to listen to our podcast take hold of the content that we're putting out, have a whole month to sit with it. Right. And fully, yeah, you know, digest it. Let us have a whole month to sit with ourselves, like you said, because, you know, we might see something, hear something, and feel one way about it. Next week, we might feel totally different. For it's real. something else that we might have learned. You know what I mean? Um, so, like, let us have that time to just experience life, you know, and go through the month and then come back and have just a real conversation and check in. As friends. As friends. What's life your life is, like? What's your life like? Life is for living. Mm -hmm. You know, um, what's your life like? I like that because um, since starting this project, Alex and I have spent so much time talking about the project that we haven't really had time to tap in as friends. Exactly. But, I mean, what's your life like? You guys actually get to listen to us. Mm hmm check in with each other as mm -hmm. friends at each month like yo what's your life like how yeah. you doing how are you what's been going on in your life for you know the past month but mm -hmm. yeah you know once a month i i believe is a good amount yeah that's what i feel comfortable with mm -hmm. and even when we met um the lady yesterday at the ethiopian cafe and we were telling her about you know what we were doing she saw all our rigs and our gear and stuff yeah and she just got to talking to us um and we explained the concept and explained how often we would come out. And she thought that was a great idea. She said yeah. the same thing that we're saying, like, bi-weekly, like, two times a week, once a month, tops. You tops. know what I mean? Um, because everything is oversaturated. Oversaturated. And you see the people who are forced, you know, the, the people who have bigger platforms. Right. And they come out monthly. Right. Um, 
I low key want to say what the name of the restaurant is. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna try to find you that. You can pronounce it. But they, you know, she's <laughs> she's like, you Sorry. know, they come out monthly, um, or no, not monthly, weekly, and the quality has the diminished. quality diminish. It it, we it don't does be like that. It does diminish. Like yeah. you, you kind of lose you lose sight of like. I don't want to say people lose sight of why they started mm -hmm. what they started, mm -hmm. but life is for living. Yeah, you have to live. You yeah. have to live. It's it's. Yeah. Come back to me. Okay. I I do want to find this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. The name of this uh restaurant, cause the restaurant I want honestly, the restaurant was so good. The food was so good. She was warm. She was warm. The, nice the environment was warm. Um, man, the lime time. You know. Is that it? Yes. Boon occurs. If I if I if I didn't pronounce it, forgive us. Forgive us. Yeah. I'm not Ethiopian, yeah. but Boon occurs. That's, that's in Richmond. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. Alex is from Richmond. I'm from Philly. Mm -hmm. So this podcast, you guys are gonna travel with us. Um, that's another thing that you can expect. We'll that's another reason why it has to be once a month. Once a month. Exactly, because we live in separate separate states. Uh, states. Mm -hmm. Um, but sometimes we'll be in Richmond with it. Sometimes we'll be in Philly. Sometimes we'll be hitting the road. Yeah. Um, bringing on guests, people mm -hmm. that we admire. People that we think are cool in real life. Word. Um, and yeah, and we really just, just want to do something different with this. Like we really are pouring in all of our love, all of our prayers, all of our talents. You know, we're taking this serious and just presenting to you something that you haven't seen, um, you know, in a podcast. We don't just want you to listen. For those of you who can only, um, you know, listen audibly, that's fine. But, like, if you can, come on our socials and also see what we're doing on Instagram and different things like that. We also want you to see the visual part um, right. of what we're bringing to it. Um, and it, it, just enjoy it. Or and take part in it. So where can they find us? You can find us on Instagram. Instagram is is the main spot. I'll be honest. That's the main we, hub. We, we we like we like on the like older side of millennial. Yeah. I ain't figure out TikTok, and he about to take that from us. Dog. I ain't right. post a thing on there yet. I just be looking. I don't know how to look. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you that John looked like a garage sale. <laughs> videos everywhere though you got stressed and got up out of there didn't i got you? stressed and i got up out of there man somebody done took court cobain so i'm court cobain one mm. i'm like i don't like it yeah i don't like it right. nah not <laughs> nah not i'm out of there <laughs> <laughs> but instagram is cool underscore 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 two underscores irl yeah cool underscore underscore irl mm. it's the same on uh tiktok we decided to can Facebook. We don't use Facebook. We sorry. We I don't sorry. even have a page. <laughs> sorry to the to the to the moms and dads and the aunts and uncles that's on that joint right. um stalking. Right. But we can't we can't do it. Can't beloved. do it, beloved. I'm so sorry. <laughs> can't, can't do, do it. it. I just can't. <laughs> you know YouTube as well. YouTube. YouTube for the video portion. Um for the audio portion. You can hear us on all streaming platforms that host podcasts. Yeah. No matter the platform, mm -hmm. uh, we have the capability of uploading on all of them. So, um, and then outside of that, also um, as a treat, yes, because we are very much into music. Yes. We'll also be having having a monthly playlist. Um, so just it's just what we vibe into for the month. What have we been listening to? What are we feeling um, for that month? Mm -hmm. You'll get a monthly playlist with that when we have guests on. The guests will be able to take charge. They'll be doing the listen. Don't be hitting that inbox <laughs> talking about yo. Read the facts. Read the read the read the FAQs, please, beloveds, please. Mm. You know it's it's organic. Everything that we do is organic. Um, and when we bring guests on, we want it to be organic to them. So, whatever they've been sitting with for the month, that's yeah. what they'll put on the, their playlist, and we're just gonna keep it going. That's it. We both been sharing music for a very long time. For a very long time. Very long time. So it's only right. It right. only makes sense to share it with y'all. Yeah. Um, so Spotify users, Apple Music users, we got y'all. You'll have a playlist for both. Now, title, we ain't got y'all. I'm so sorry. We ain't got y'all. We apologize. 
Pan, uh, what's the other one? Pandora? Pandora? So sorry, beloved. We ain't got y'all. I don't know who got y'all. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who got Google Pandora, Google but my mom. Who? Amazon Music. Who? We ain't got y'all. We ain't got y'all. We ain't there. We I not there. Um, but the good thing about it is, you know, most people do use Spotify and mm-hmm. Apple Music. Um, and if you don't have Spotify, I can't say that for Apple Music because you do have to pay for that subscription. But for Spotify, you can um, get, get a free a free, a free subscription. So, yeah, man, you you can listen to our monthly playlist and that's just a better way to kind of get to know us you get to know people by by way of what they listen to right yeah music is a love language for real yeah you know and sharing is caring (laughs) and we 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 all for it that's it that's it we did it dog so once again thank you for tuning in we gonna we gonna wrap this joint up this is just an introduction to give you guys an idea of what to look forward to. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with us and supporting us through all of this. We're just going to say that in advance. In advance. Um, and we're going to see y'all next month. Peace out. Y'all just dying. <laughs>